G'day everyone, I'm artist Wayne Dowson and on the weekend Jackie and I headed up to Blandford to train with the 12th Australian Light Oils troupe of Mararundi. But before we get into the video, you'll see me wearing this hat. It's a very special hat. It's an Aussie slouch hat and it's been signed by three very good mates of mine. And these three mates have three things in common. One, they're all veterans of World War II. Two, they all started their military careers in the Australian Light Horse or the Vets and Remounts. And three, they've all been part of our Anzac Portrait Series. Mr. Tom Pico, Mr. Alan Brightoak, and Mr. Keith Bent. So I'm dedicating this video to my three mates. Now Tom has already seen a little bit of a video of me when I'm on my first time in the saddle. And he said I look like a sack of potatoes. So hopefully there's room for improvement. This is the second time I got in the saddle for a full day. The 12th Light Horse Troop conduct all of their training on Marion's beautiful property at Blandford. And Blandford is situated just before you get to the town of Murrurundi, which is in the New England district of New South Wales. As you can see, Hereford cattle are run on the property. Now I've only had a 15 minute riding lesson, but it was from two brilliant riders, Bram and Sarah. So it doesn't get much better than that. Here I am with Spider, and I'm sure he's wondering if I'm going to exceed his load limit. And I'm not waving at the camera either, I'm waving at the bloody flies. They were terrible, and it was stinking hot as well. The last time Jackie and I trained here, we did drill practice, tent pegging, lance work, and sabre work, and it was terrific fun. And that was the first day for us in the saddle. Today we practice drills, riding in formation, because the troop are getting ready for a very important day. And that day is next weekend, on Saturday the 26th. And they will hold a commemorative service at Murrurundi to mark the 96th anniversary of the Battle of Besheva, which was in Palestine on the 31st of October 1917. That's World War I. The regiments commenced the charge on Besheva at 4.30pm. The 12th Australian Light Horse were on the left and the 4th Light Horse were on the right. They advanced by squadrons with about 500 yards between them. They were armed with bayonets in hand. Their rifles were slung over their shoulders. The Ottoman artillery opened fire with the shrapnel from long range but it was ineffective against the widely spaced horsemen. The light horsemen jumped the front trenches and dismounted behind the line where they turned and engaged the Ottoman forces with bayonets. The Ottoman forces were in many cases so demoralized that they quickly surrendered. One Aussie who was dazed after having his horse shot from under him recovered to find his five attackers with their hands up waiting to be taken prisoner. Jackie and I attended the commemorative service at Murrurundi in 2011 and we had a fantastic time and we can't wait to head up there again and we'll take plenty of video and photos of the events on the day. So all that's left now is for me to ride off into the sunset. Thanks for watching everyone.